Welcome everyone. We're here to discuss an innovative treatment option for men experiencing symptoms of an enlarged prostate, prostate artery embolization, or PAE. My name is Dr. Michael Gomez. I'm a urologist specializing in men's health. And today I'm joined by Dr. Luke Sewell, an interventional radiologist with expertise in PAE. As men age, the prostate can naturally enlarge. This can cause bothersome symptoms, including weak stream, dribbling, hesitancy, nighttime voiding. These symptoms can significantly impact your quality of life. Several treatment options are available, including medications and surgery. Medications can help manage symptoms, but generally don't shrink the prostate. Surgery can be very effective, but it's also more invasive and can have potential side effects. Dr. Sewell, what is prostate artery embolization and how does it work to help the patient? Prostate artery embolization involves putting a catheter into the blood vessel supplying the prostate gland and injecting tiny particles that help to shrink the gland. What are the typical benefits of PAE versus your traditional surgical options? One of the best benefits is that it's minimally invasive and doesn't involve going through the penis to treat the prostate gland. We can go through the blood vessel, thereby taking away all of the risks of putting a catheter into the penis. What are the potential risks and side effects of PAE? One of the biggest risks is a small amount of bleeding or bruising from the site where we put the catheter into the blood vessel. Other risks involve some particles possibly getting into areas outside the gland, including the bladder, the rectum, and sometimes the penis. So who is a good candidate for PAE, and how would I know as a patient that this is a good option for me? The best candidates are those with severe symptoms and large glands, because large glands tend to have bigger blood vessels and more blood flow. So this is something that the urologist and the patient would figure out together, correct? Absolutely. Great. So what can patients expect when they come for a PAE? We do the procedures in this lab, and the actual time on the table here is about one to two hours. Afterwards, we keep them around for a couple hours to make sure they've healed and done well, and then they go home. So Dr. Sewell, what are the limitations patients might experience after the procedure? One of the biggest things they will all feel is a little bit of discomfort from swelling in the gland after the procedure. Some of them will have a little bit of burning and a little bit of bladder irritation. We give medications for those, and those symptoms go away between three and five days. And then you'll see them typically three to four weeks after the procedure is done, correct? Correct. We do a follow-up visit, and by the time we see them, they're usually feeling much better, and their symptoms already started to improve. Great. Well, thank you, Dr. Sewell. PAE is a promising, minimally invasive option for men seeking relief from your large prostate symptoms. We encourage you to discuss this option with your urologist to see if it's the right option for you.